Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert HVAC training. I'm your host Leandro Mal and in this video what we're going to see is an overview of one part of the software. So let's go to the presentation and talk more about the configuration tab that we have. So as soon as we open the application, okay, we have different tabs in the top left corner, which are configuration, programming, display and commissioning. Depending on the PLC selected, we have a different views. For example, here, let me just take the pen. If you're using the M172 one performance or the M172, um, you have four items on the top. Okay. If you take a look on the M172 one optimize, we don't have the display. Okay. Because this one doesn't have a a specific display that you can program, make your own animations or add the variables that you want in an easy way that you have on the other one. Okay, that's why you don't have the display part. But on this one that has the embedded display, the monochromatic, you can have the display part. Okay, if you're using the M172 to D for display, and uh, then you have uh you can have the possibility to use the colors. So this is what you see once you open the application, the configuration part. And if you take a look at the configuration, there are a lot of information that we have in order to configure the device and define variables. So let's start with the beginning. Okay, this is going to be a quick overview. Then I'm going to enter in more details in the complete parts of the software. So if you take a look here in the 172, we have these Modbus objects. Okay, they are related to Epron status and on Sabios parameter. Okay. Epron basically is gonna is the place where you're going to define all the configuration variables that you have for the system. The status variables are the ones that have some kind of indication about the process that you have. The enums is a fancy way to see the variables, okay, but we're gonna cover that later. And the BIOS parameters are the like the internal system variables that you have on the PLC and you can pre-configure the system. Then let me just hide myself. Then we have the IO mapping. Okay. This uh, information on the IO mapping is going to depend on the hardware selected, but basically are the IOS of the controller and the expansion models. Okay. Then we have the possibility for alarms that this part is more related to the M171 optimize. Okay. On the other PLC, I didn't use it. Then you have the possibility to use the website. Okay, there are some, um, it's like something similar to web visualization, but in a different way that we're gonna cover that. And then we have the possibility to use the backlink objects that you have in there. And then we have the, the other elements regarding to the communication, but all this part is gonna cover later. I just want you to know what is this um configuration tab probably not regard not related to the configuration okay in the top part of the software we have these icons that basically the first one as you can see is a new project this one to open existing project this one will save what you have this will compile all and then this one will download all by compile all and download all okay what i meant is that I mentioned before that they have uh, different tabs on the software. So you have the possibility to download for each tab what you want, okay? But if you want to download the software, the configuration and everything, this is where you need to compile all and then download all, okay? That is the idea, but we are going to cover it. So as soon as we go into the configuration in our software, we should be able to see this icon, okay? Which is only the compilation from that specific part. It's going to execute everything. And then you have the compile all that will affect the compilation of the complete part of the program. And then the results are going to be indicated on the bottom in the output, okay? Uh, but I believe, maybe I'm wrong, but this one also compiles everything, but Let's check it out. Then in the software, 
once we have defined the, the application in case we don't need to use, for example, the M172 with uh, more IOs and we need to use a smaller one, we have the possibility to change the selected target in our application. So basically we just need to go to project, select target, and then you will see this window. You will see all the uh, PLCs that we are available. And then we just need to select and then change. And then after the selection, it will ask us to save the project as I show over here. This part is very simple. So once you, in case you have any issues that probably happens, don't ask me why. Um, for example, one of the common issues that I found is that sometimes um, some of the internal libraries are not recognized by the application. In those cases, what I recommend you to do is to go to project and select refresh current target. It's like a clean all everything and then build again. Uh, and that's sort of problem now. So what I'm going to do is to open the application that I have. So this one is for the N172. And the same matter if it's optimized or performance, it's gonna be the same. And this one is the N171. As you can see here, I have configuration programming and commissioning, but the display part is missing because uh, it doesn't have the display that we can configure. So now, if I go over here, okay, we should be able to see Modbus, EPRON, all the variables that we can have, the various parameters and everything, but I'm going to focus that in a different uh, presentation. So if you go to project, we have the possibility to select the target. So here we should be able to see all the different elements that we have in our software. So I'm going to change for the bigger one. So you can see here in 172, the smaller one to the bigger one. So if I can change this, this is the message. Okay, save. <laughs> so I'm going to compile everything. And there we go. It changed the, the software, it changed the target inside the application. Okay, so it's simple. So this is already done, this right done. Open the help. So if you need any further help, okay, we just can go to help, index, and it should open this, this help, okay? So you can find more information about some specific part of the software. There's something good to know. So this is check, show setup communication. This is going to this is going to be covering a different kind of training, but let's just show you what it means. Okay, so as soon as we we have the application, we should be able to um, to connect with the controller. So um, if we go to, 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 to project to, to online, so in order to be online with the controller, sometimes we just use connect. Okay, but first we need to define how we are going to connect from the laptop to the controller. In that case, in those cases, we just need to select setup communication to define how are we going to communicate with the controller. Okay, if we are using, for example, the M1721 optimized, the other one with the 77 display or blind, uh, we can use the TM171 ADMI, which is the programming cable that we have on that controller. We just need to activate properties and then select the COM port, but that is going to be covered later. For the N172, if you want to use the mini USB cable, we just need to select Modbus, activate, and then in properties we have for the information, ATVs over Ethernet, we just activate it, and properties, and here we just define the IP address of the equipment. Okay, so that part is easy. And then let's see what do we have. Perfect check data export. Okay, so if we're going to communicate this HMI with, um, for example, the EcoStructure Operator Terminal Expert, the easiest way would be to export the variables from our system, from the HVAC system, and import them the other side. So we just export. If we click over here, we have the export button. 
and here we should be able to export the modbus object the modbus object are the one that you define on epron and status okay and this part I'm going i'm going to cover it later uh on the latest version of the hmi software there are a few new features um okay that export fine and to, to modbus customer editor editor so developer so here um this custom editor basically um for example if you are using a different kind of application you have the possibility to select the to create to import eds um that basically contain the information on the device that you want to communicate to easily integrate in your system here you can create like a template for those ideas um, and define a device over Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP and you can easily add all the addresses and everything so you can easily add it in your program I'm going to cover that later but I just I just want you to, to show you the what we got over here okay so this is like an overview for all the um, for the configuration tab okay in this model what i'm going to do is just to have an overview of the different tabs and then i'm going to specialize in each part of the elements of the software so thank you very much for watching this video i see you on the next one